Hello! I got a lot of you guys' messages about wanting to see more about the volleyball setter. So let's talk about the volleyball setter. You know I've been working on my setting skill for a while. And if I could go back, would I learn how to set better? Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit more about the volleyball setter. Now you know I'm a lover of all the well-rounded players. I think all players need to learn all of the basic skills. That way it makes them more competitive when they're trying to make their volleyball team. And it gives them that edge because they know all of the skills and can perform them well. So if you don't already know, my name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and everything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So make sure you subscribe on your way in. So about the setter. The setter is commonly known as the player who runs the offense of the game. They can control the speed of the offense. And that's with making sure that they set the ball to the appropriate player to get the point. Now we're going to talk about a lot of great skills about a setter today, but we're going to talk about some background information on the setter as well, because I want you guys to be well educated and learn some strategic things that you might not know about the setter. I learn some new stuff every day, so I'm going to bring you some new stuff today. Now, setting the ball can be sometimes be so unpredictable, especially at the beginning levels of volleyball. The sets that you receive will not always be perfect, so it is crucial to learn how to set from a variety of angles. The sets that you will get in practice, which are kind of perfect and timed by your coach, won't always be like that in a game. So sometimes when you're getting set in practice or that somebody's doing and tossing you the ball to set to the hitting line, it's not gonna be perfect when you're in a game. So you need to learn how to navigate that and set from a variety of angles. Now, a lot of people think that the setter is always the team captain. Yes, in many cases, I've seen that team captains are the setter, but all, all setters the team captain? No. I think that a player that is coachable, who works hard, who shows that vigor, that dedication, that is team captain material. So a lot of people don't talk about the agility of a setter. The agility is something else. The setter, I have seen setters run all the way up the court, chasing a ball, making sure and bringing it back into play. Agility is something that you need to work on. Also, it's so important to remember that the setter always gets the second ball unless they call for help. Now here's some clips from my past video when I taught you guys how to basically set. And I think it's really great tutorial for you guys to start practicing now because setting is one of those things that you can do at home with just a ball and you don't need a net. And this is a great time to learn how to do your setter's hands, form that position and that body position. That way when you do get back into practice or you start trying out for a team, you already kind of know the basics. So a lot of these clips are really great and if you need to pause this video or watch it back to see some of the sets, please do that. I want you to see a lot of great setters set the ball so you can see the different type of skill work that goes into it. Now with those top needed setter skills, I want you to pause this video and review them so that way you really understand what it takes and some of the qualities of a great setter. And if you need to work on something in particular, this is a great time to work on that. Why do I think it's important for all players to have a grasp of setting? I think that every player on the team needs to know how to set at a basic to intermediate level because it is so, so, so helpful when players know how to get the ball back to their teammates to get it over the net. The last video I talked about the libero needing to know how to set because they can get the ball from the back row to the front row and set it to a hitter. That is also a great thing. So if you're a libero or you're training to be a libero, working on your setter setting can be so helpful, especially if the setter is out for a game and you the libero need to be the setter. That will be helpful and it will make you so diverse in the game that your coach will have two positions kind of for you. Now, if you watch my volleyball vlogs, you may have seen me do a lot of different types of setter attacks, like the setter dump or a setter attack. There are a lot of different things setters can do that not only mean just setting the ball to another um, player that is going to hit the ball, but setters can have their own offensive strategy as well. So we can talk about that in another time, especially when I get on a net and I can show you some of the cool things I know that I've seen setters do that just look so awesome. But 
hope that you really liked this video. I hope you learned about becoming a setter. If you are a setter, in the comments, can you tell us some tips or tricks that you know for becoming a setter? If you want to be a setter, tell me that too, because I want to know. I, myself, am an outside hitter, but I look forward to learning more about the game just like you. All right, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.